Righty oh folks and welcome back. Coming off our big 1-0 victory over Manchester City today, taking on Bournemouth, taking on Chelsea as well. Obviously, no games to show you off camera as uh, we've got the rest of the season to play. And we're edging ever closer to the finale. Dumbia is away on international duty with the under 23s. Gonna chuck we're gonna chuck this formation out again. We're gonna see how we go. We're obviously gonna bring Bring Lawrence in as our left back. He's got a good partnership with Jacobo on the wing there. Um, let's bring Momo in on there. And Dario on the bench. And we need a new we need a new wing back. So Wallace shall do. Let's chuck Scott on the bench. And this is our team for Bournemouth. Vergara up top, Jacobo and Dyer on the wings, Louvacrans, Kareem, Godinho, Diaz, Lawrence, Pedersen, Cumming, Baldini, and Nikos. Or do we play Pisani? Three, uh, heavy, he's played a decent amount. What about Nikos? What was yours? Okay, no, Nikos is good. We're going to go with Nikos. Let's go, team. Everyone is fully fit. There's been four changes from the last game. Loving life. Let's let's go out and win. We've got Chelsea next, so we've we've beaten both Manchester sides. We've beaten Tottenham. We've beaten Arsenal. Can we beat a third London side in our next game? Probably, probably not. However, you know, this season we've we've taken a few we taken a few scalps. Obviously, unfortunately, we haven't won every. Game that we probably should have, but uh, that's the way football goes. Is you, sometimes you throw away a three nil, three nil uh, advantage, three goal advantage. That could be a penalty for us. And that could mean Vergara gets himself back on level footing if he can score this. Back on level footing for the top, uh, the golden boot for our our top scorer. Or will, will he? Will he make it? Bang! He does. It's one goal to us. Ninth of the season. Vergara, you bloke. You bloke? What a bloke. Seven minutes in. A comfortable 1-0 lead. Thanks to a penalty. <laughs> and here we go. Vergara turned provider now. Trying to get a wee header on there, but no such luck. Lawrence now finding the ball, gives it up to Godinho Diaz. Back to Lawrence, over the top. Jameson heads it on. William. Baldini gets it back. Dyer now, he's running through. Is he going to go himself? No, he's going to give it up to Jacobo. Jacobo storms down. Lawrence now with the cross. No such luck. And as we see, Bournemouth now. William is storming down the wing. He passes, it's Joshua Moore scores, his ninth goal of the season as well. Fantastic run from William, and our lead lasted uh, as seven minutes, basically, as the same amount of time it took us to score. So pretty poor defending there from Pedersen, who is standing literally... If he was any closer, they would have been on top of each other. So, expected him to win that header, but nonetheless, Cordenio Diaz now over the top to Jacobo. Can't quite get his shot away cleanly, but we've managed to uh, keep possession as we pass it back. I don't know why we would pass it back. Should be passing it into space. The clock's running out. We should be able to score another goal with our XG at 1.19. See Bournemouth's slowly creeping up as well, so hopefully um, hopefully it don't creep up that much more. Not a lot is, uh, is happening, team. Um, we're going to go more direct. I've already chucked run of the defence. Maybe be more explicit. Go ultra-wide. Distribute to the playmaker. Coming makes a good save. So time's running out. There's been no highlights. The plane has to fly by. Hopefully that doesn't pick up too much on my audio. 
very rude. But looks like it's going to be a one-all draw. Pretty piss-poor effort from the boys today, I must say. Midfield, not good enough. Not good enough at all, especially when next game we go up against Chelsea. Very uninspiring. Very uninspiring. There's no spark in that midfield. It is uh, beyond disappointing. Okay, folks. Well, this is a bit exciting. Obviously, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, impact in the future part of the save, but uh, we could just pick, pick a team to be... Um, affiliated with okay where do we go where do we go so we reckon a few teams in the czech republic a couple of teams in the bundesliga or the second bundesliga cyprus romania sweden we could do bokken they're decent enough outfit aren't they no, they haven't been up to the first division, but they're probably the... I don't know. What else we got? We got Red Star FC in France. They're pretty good. Probably don't want to go any further then. Uh, so I'm thinking... We could... Oh, Darmstar? They're good. No, they're pretty good. Let's go with... Let's get Darmstar. Confirmed. CV Darmstadt. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but why not? We've got an affiliate club in Germany. Fantastic. And um, they're, they're up and down, but we could get some really good, uh, some really good uh, German players through. They've got adequate, decent enough, you know. Why not? They play in the second division. They're a decent enough squad. Should be nice to get them as a uh, affiliate team. Anyway, we've got Chelsea next, so um, we'll uh, we'll get into that. Um. Oh, okay. Well, we're not getting a new uh, physio then. <laughs> Right. Come on, how <laughs> I thought we would be it wouldn't take as long, but as the save drags on and on, it does obviously take a lot longer to load, so here we go. Oof, a four nil victory for Southampton. Have Tottenham have played and they have beaten Manchester United by an own goal. Okay, okay. Just to focus down the left, play a bit on balanced. I was going to go back to our formation here. Um, obviously not playing. I was going to play Scott with uh, Jefferson Antonio on the bench. Dumbia is back from international duty. And we'll chuck Hassan on there. Let's do Luvacrans and Gibson. That's going to be our team. right -o. Cummings in goal. Lawrence, Peterson, Baldini, and Nikos. Hassan, Gibson, and Luvacrans. Jacobo, Scott, and Vergara. With Bojo, Dumbia, Andre Louise, Landerio, Kareem, Momo, Jefferson, Antonio on the bench. Let's get it. We can do this. We can beat the team of Chelsea. No one's expecting us to win. But as long as we don't get thrashed long as we don't get thrashed let's just let's see how we go so the Chelsea are in second then probably not going to win the league with the amount of points Manchester United are ahead of them but I think it's still mathematically possible or else I would have seen surely that Manchester United are champions is okay three and a less than three and a half minutes in we're a goal down that's fantastic um probably not going to beat them then as uh all of the other big teams have not scored before us. It's always been a 1-0. Oh, we did beat Tottenham 
So it is still possible, but I don't know if Tottenham did score first. I think they got a late consolation goal. Not 100% sure on that one. I'll have to wait and see. Right, oh. We're having a decent time out of it. Scott! Oh, he could have scored a scorcher if he'd just taken a touch. The sun. Oh, no. Hassan had an amazing assist. If he'd just taken that extra little bit of time, that would have been in a worthy to get his record underway for us. I'm not taking him off. I'll take him off at half time if he's performing poorly. But we do have Jacobo to deal with as well, who's playing a lot of football recently. Can Baldini get it? No, Mendy can. Pedersen. Come on. Oh, oh, Jesus coming. Come on. Scott now to Vergara, out wide to Jacobo. Jacobo's going to take it. Luis Fernando, decent hands there to save it. Okay, Gibson's going to whip in our corner. No such luck there. We can't get a header on it. Takes it back out. To Scott, no. Chelsea are on the break now. We've only got two blokes back. Oh, great tackle from Baldini there. Nikos hoofs it up to Vergara. Highlights over. Yeah, unfortunately, Chelsea have a throw in right on the, the half time mark as we can head that away. But Ricardo, he's going to give it to Gonzalez. And it's 2 0 from Edward. Edward Grusio. Very disappointing. Very poor on this side from Pedersen and Lawrence. Same with actually Hassan. He's having a shocker. Everyone else is about average. Anything less than a 6.5, I will not accept. Any 6.5 is mediocre. Anything less is poor. Not happy with your playmaking. Obviously, Scott is injured, so Jefferson Antonio is on. Obviously, he's in uh, probably the best form as a striker, so if anyone's going to score, it's probably him. But, um, yeah, defense, apart from Baldini and coming. I'm not doing too well. Even Nikos is underperforming now. Disappointment. Chelsea have Mendy. Oh, that's a decent tackle from Nikos. We've just made a substitution as uh, Landerio should be coming on for Gibson. Vergara now. He's giving it back to Gibson. Gibson, oh, he tries to find Jefferson Antonio, but no such luck. Julian Gottlicker, one of the Best players in the game save. Oh, it's a decent save from coming to put the ball out. As I don't know who else to bring on. Should we bring on someone? Oh, that's poor from Hassan. I'm not too disappointed that we're losing to Chelsea. It was pretty much expected. They are. Miles better than us. Is that? Oh, that could have been a penalty for them, but luckily not. We've gotten away with it. So, Sadio, what are you doing? Jefferson Antonio is on the counter now. Can't get it back in time, and it's a, it's a great save. I'm more disappointed with the fact that Burnley are catching up to us. Like I want to put some points between 10th and 11th. I want to solidify us as a 10th place finish. It'll be a failure if we finish less than 10th, so we need to get a couple of wins. We need Burnley to lose a couple more times. We need to stamp the fact that we are a top 10 worthy team. We've been playing all right. We've beaten a few, we've beaten some big boys in the league. That's poor from our defense there. Uh, managed to uh, get some gloves on it from Dino there as a, uh, Lovacrans for Kareem is going to be our last substitute, even though we probably should have taken off Hassan. Oh, I could have taken off anyone. Everyone's been poor. 2-0 loss to Chelsea, as expected. Tottenham, unfortunately, have four points uh, of a gap. It's not impossible to uh, get back, but uh probably doesn't look like we'll finish anything higher than 10th, which is why... 
kind of wanted to need why we needed that win against Bournemouth. Uh, put some points in the bag as it's 3 0 thanks to uh, Herculean Herculano Mendy. Just your classic Chelsea Chelsea victory there as uh, they've got the riches of the game and they can afford to buy players for 200 and something million every transfer window. Multiple of them. So whereas we can we can get an 80 million, not even. I think 80 is still far too much of what we would have spent. I think, I don't even know what our highest paid player is. I think it is Malusi, something like 50 something, 40 something, perhaps 70 even with potential add ons. Even that, that's, that's expensive. We just don't have the, uh, the wealth to compete with some of these bigger teams. So the referee should just blow the whistle now. Check it out, mate. Why are you going out for a throw-in? Game's over. Unless we can get a consolation goal. Perhaps that'd be nice as Lauren... Nah, see? <laughs> Why even bother showing us the bloody highlight then? Not happy with that. We probably shouldn't have reverted back to the formation. Um, Tristan Scott, he's... He's out for four to six days. He hasn't had a great... Uh, He's not a great time. Cummings played 50 games for us, so great for him. We've got Norwich next, so we need a good three points there. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks a ton for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.